Reports of terror attacks at the coast and other parts of the country characterized the year 2014, leading to travel advisories from various tourist source markets, which did not only hurt tourism, but affected business in general as well. While the Kenya Tourism Board has been adamant that bed occupancy had not fallen by more than 30% in Mombasa, data from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics indicates that bed occupancy in Mombasa fell by a whopping 60% between July and September of 2014 due to both internal and external factors including insecurity concerns as well as negative travel adversaries from key source markets and the perceived health risks in Kenya due to the country's geopolitical location and connectivity with West Africa, which was affected by Ebola since mid last year. Hoteliers at the coastal town of Mombasa had reported low business activity in 2014, adding up to numerous losses, which prompted some of them to either temporarily close shop or cut down on their human resource an effect that trickled down to many families who depended on the industry. But it was not just Mombasa that experienced a decline in bed occupancy. Nairobi also had a 28% decline, according to the data by KNBS. In its third quarter GDP release, KNBS says, and I quote, the accommodation and restaurant service activity recorded a deeper contraction in its third quarter growth at 14.6% compared to a contraction of 3.9% during the same quarter of 2013. While all other sectors of the economy recorded significant positive growth, KNBS says the accommodation and food services sector has consistently been on a decline since 2013. Nonetheless, hoteliers and the business community, especially at the coast, are optimistic that the enhanced security arrangements and improved economic growth will help turn around the economy of the region this year. Ruth Mutegi, Channel One Business.